Yeah, I had a lot of flips on. I got a little lost. I got a little lost at the end. I came to MG Elite like five months ago and everything has changed. Like I used to be in public school, but now I'm homeschooled. Everything is better now, my shapes, my form, like everything's consistent and she's made me so much better. When I first got here on ball, I could barely do, I could only do like a pike or chenko. And like in, within the first week, Maggie taught me how to do a layer chenko and now I'm competing a full. And like other things like beam, I could never do a double back dismount and my legs were never straight on anything, so it's changed a lot. Every time your bars get bad, it's when you go back to your old body shape. Have you noticed? And every time your bars are good and under control and in handstands, it's when you're stopping, you're moving slow, and you're feeling your ribs in. Okay, that was the old you from months and months ago. At the last Parkettes meet that I recently had, I made International Elite, so that was like the best feeling ever. Well, it was my first time trying Elite this year, and my compulsory meet was the first meet I had. So I went through all the events, and I fell on bars, but it didn't really count against my score. And I made it, and I got my 35 to qualify the first part of Elite. And then the next day, we had the optionals, and I did really good, and I got a 50. No, I got a 51.9, and I only needed a 50, and I qualified for International Elite. My last event at the Parkettes was meet, meet was Beam, and Beam is always like the nervous event, and I knew I had to hit it, so it was a lot of pressure. But I didn't know what score I needed to get, but if I knew what score I needed to get, I think I would have been fine. And after I got off the Beam, I hit my Beam routine. They told me I needed an 11, and I looked up the scoreboard, and I got a 13, and everyone was so happy. We were all hugging each other and like cheering, and then my mom came over, and she was starting to cry because she always cries about everything. <laughs> She came in as a pretty sloppy level 10. Just for her to be at US Classic was a huge accomplishment in itself. I was pretty happy with her just qualifying there. You know, her mom cried the whole day because she was just so proud that she was there. I have, I have good faith in Jazzy because she's a hard worker. And um, Jazzy's not a superstar right now, that's for sure. Um, but she's talented and she's coordinated. And I think that in a year from now, uh, people are gonna start taking an interest in her and wonder like, well, who is this, you know, who is this kid, where'd she come from? And this is your first time at championships and you won the whole thing. How does that feel? It feels great and I'm so excited. Did you think coming in here that you would be able to win the whole meet? Not really, it's just kind of shocking. <laughs> what did you tell yourself before each event to stay calm and focused and perform so well? I just told myself to do the same thing I do in the gym because I know like, I hit my routines in the gym so I could just hit them here, just one more routine. <laughs> And coming in, um, when you switched gyms, you said you wanted to be as good as Lori Hernandez. And you've now won. She came in second last year. What do you think of your goal? Pretty excited. I'm glad that I switched gyms and came here to be like her.